Hi, this is Monty from Mopart Vehicles and welcome to another one of our uh, detailed vehicle appraisals on a car that's just recently come into us. Uh, this is our lovely a 2003 66,000 or 66,400 miles now uh, Toyota RAV4. Uh, it's the VX model, nice specification with it, so it's got leather interior and a sunroof, air conditioning as well. Um, yeah, covered 66,000 miles, 2 litre petrol automatic. Now, um, I do like a Toyota, there's another little Toyota there, I've got a Previa there, uh, I've got another three, oh, there was a three door over there, but that's out at the moment. Uh, so I've got another one, uh, another three door in uh, a beige, done 56,000 miles, again, two litre automatic. Uh, and that should be going up on the website very shortly. Now, I'm gonna briefly walk around the car and give you a more detailed view very shortly. Now, uh, I am a small independent dealer. I only keep about 15, 18 cars or so. So if you're interested in one of the vehicles that I've got, uh, please don't hesitate to just give me a call, send me an email, send me a text, whatever. Not always on site. Uh, and I've recently had a few customers that have just turned up, even though everything's done by appointment only, turned up to have a look at the cars. And unfortunately, I was here, but the cars weren't here because not all of my cars are on site. Um, they could obviously be having alloy wheel refurbished. They could be having trolley dents, Things done, servicing, MOTing, stuff like that. So, uh, and again, valeting. So, more interested, you want to know a bit more about this car? So, yes, yeah, 66,400 miles. I've covered about 300 miles in this car myself. It's been, yeah, effortless, lovely, lovely car to drive, especially for a 20 year old vehicle and in really good condition. Now, 20 years of age, she's not going to be brand new. So, these videos are there not to educate you, but just to sort of, I don't want to waste anybody's time. Whether you're 200 yards away, 200 miles away, to come and have a look at a car that I've misdescribed. I am only human. I won't intentionally misdescribe a vehicle unless I've missed something. It's just one of those things that's unfortunate. Um, so yeah, great services through the car and it's genuine mileage. Um, the last service, I think it's not stamped in the book, but we've got an invoice for about six or 700 pounds that the customer, you know, replace brake fluid, gearbox oil change, full service done. Yeah, spent a load of money on the car. Um, and previous to him, the, lo the previous owner to that had the car for about 11 years and covered about 10,000 miles. So from about 2012 um, or 2011, something like that, to 2012, uh, 2011 to 2022, I can't remember. I'll double check and get all my dates are all wrong, but only covered 11,000 miles in 10 years. But what a lovely car. So let me just uh, sort of go a bit closer for you. Now again, I've done a few little touch-ups here and there. Nothing major. Bonnet's all all right. There's a few little touch-ups I've done now. Again, we've, we've done all these pictures before. You look at pictures of a car, looks absolutely stunning. You go and stand in front of it and you go, didn't see all that. Look, you've got a few little stone chips here and there that I've touched up. There's one bigger one that was up here, but again, nothing major. If I just took the photograph from there, would you really pick that up? No, of course you wouldn't. Uh, so I just wanted to tell you that, just done a little touch up there. Uh, I think there was a couple more on the front bumper. I think I've done one around here and one just below the fog lamp. Now, um, what can I tell you uh, a bit more about the car? Uh, you just really got to uh, see it to appreciate it. It is a lovely, lovely vehicle. Uh, and I'm not just trying to say that, and I do, love a Toyota, do love a RAV4, do love an automatic, and this will be the third or fourth I've had in the last sort of four or five months. I'll show you inside very shortly. There is a tow bar on there. Previous owner never used it. Uh, there's no sort of, it's only like a single electrics, so it'd probably be in a, for a trailer, uh, not a caravan or anything like that. On the spare wheel cover, I've just done a touch up over there. And let's just show you inside. I have ordered a new centre cap for that. That'll be here very shortly. So we have got two keys of the car. Everything works as it should. Air conditioning, electric windows. And look at that interior. Lovely. That really nice RAV4 embossed into the seats. Super smooth in gear change. To mention air conditioning, it works all fine. Radio and a cassette, eh? Don't see too many of them. And you've got that sunroof just there as well. All important sunroof. Close it down so you don't get any too much glare in there. But yeah, what a lovely, lovely place to be. 
no rips, no tears, nothing like that on the seating. Four electric windows. Show you the back as well. This is the seat belt's all connected in, that's all. It'll work absolutely fine. I'll probably unplug the other side in a second. But that all looks great. I'm hoping it looks great. Now again, you tend to see a lot of these kind of, you know, finishing rubbers all hanging off and God knows what else, nothing like that. There's a little bit of corrosion around the alloy wheels, but it doesn't warrant it having it all done. Really, it doesn't. Uh, I'll open up the boot, show you inside. Now, one important thing about these RAVs, especially the Japanese cars around this sort of age. Just show you in the back there, all looks good. Jack's underneath the driver's seat. We've got locking wheel nut keys, etc. Now, they do tend to suffer from a bit of corrosion. Just one of those things, really. Japanese cars tend to suffer from it. Uh, now, we had the car in because we changed the drive belt. I think that was on the uh, last advisory on the MOT. And I think there was a little bit of corrosion on the front and rear suspension components, which is not going to be unheard of. It's a 20-year-old vehicle. It's a real harsh environment to be underneath that car, that hot exhaust, um, rain, salt water, all that sort of nonsense. It's a harsh environment. But whoever is interested and they want to see, while the car was up in the air, I took a couple of photographs uh, of it when the guys were doing the drive belt for me. And you'll be quite astounded, really. I think the MOT tester might have been an overly zealous MOT tester. Now, there are a couple of little scuffs just on there, very light scratches on there. But apart from that, lovely. Now, at the same time, well, not exactly the same time, but I also had this little 14 plated focus being serviced. That was up in the air. And I've got the photographs. Front and rear suspension on that probably look rustier than that car. And not an advisory on that MOT. We haven't done the MOT. Uh, to be fair, I don't do MOTs. Uh, garage here for me, Woodchurch Garage, where I rent um, my forecourt do some MOTs for me. That hasn't been MOT'd here. And on none of the MOTs does it say anything about corrosion on uh, suspension components. But if you are interested in this lovely RAV4, I have got the photographs. And I've got photographs with the other car and you can see the registration number in it. And it does actually look worse for a car that's 2014 as opposed to a 2003. There we go. Hopefully, that's, uh, there's, there should be lots of pictures on uh, the website, on Auto Trader, etc. And I'll have some engine pictures and stuff like that. But I don't think you'll be disappointed in the drive of the car. And for a 20-year-old vehicle, I don't think you'll be disappointed in the condition as well. Hopefully, I've tried to point out all the bits and pieces that I know. Apologies, this is a, a bit of a, an eight-minute rant. It's not really. It's just to try and give you as much information as possible. And hopefully, I've done that. Now, please have a read of my reviews on Auto Trader. They're genuine, verified purchase reviews. Customers who have bought, purchased cars from me mention my name. Sometimes I'll mention Monty. Uh, it's all about honesty, integrity, trust. All right, hopefully um, uh, that's given you a bit more information. If you're interested in the other three door that we've got, that should be on the website very shortly. Uh, we've got two or three other cars that are not on the website that, and they're not on here on site as well. They'll be on the website in the next few days. Many thanks for your time and hope to speak to you soon. Bye-bye.